Okay. In uh, this experiment, we studied the motion of the pendulum. And uh, the children might offer you different uh, excuses why the, why the pendulum moves uh, differently. For example, they might say that the pendulum uh, movement is uh, affected by the wire material. But as we do the experiment, we can see that's not the case. The pendulums move uh, the same. The children might also uh, offer that uh, different masses, different uh, pendulums with uh, different masses might move differently. But as we do the experiment, we can see that's not the case. The pendulums move the same. The children might also offer that the pendulum moves beca uh, differently because uh, there are, uh, there's this different amplitude of the pendulum. But if we do the experiment, for example, this one is with a lesser amplitude, and this one has uh, more amplitude, we can see that the pendulum movement, the period that the pendulum moves, is still the same. The only thing that affects the movement of the pendulum, the period of the pendulum, uh, is the pendulum length from the attaching point until uh, the center of the mass. And if we study the different length pendulums, we can see that the shorter pendulum moves faster. The basic things to observe with this experiment is that the pendulum needs to be attached. Uh, the, it, uh, it shouldn't slide and uh, the pendulums, you, you need to check the pendulum length. If you have enough time and you want to put something extra to your experiment, you can show how the energy can transfer via torque. And we are speaking about resonance here. Uh, and this is the experiment down here. We have two different uh, two uh, pendulums. If we put one pendulum in motion and the other one is still, we can see that when this pendulum moves, it creates a torque on this elastic, a bit elastic wire. And uh, this energy is transferred by this torque to the other pen pendulum. And uh, this only happens when the other pendulum is the same length with the first pendulum, because you need to uh, the push be the in sync. It needs to be resonated. Uh, this kind of uh, resonance doesn't uh, happen with when the pole is rigid. For example, here, if I put one pendulum in motion, the energy cannot transfer from one pendulum to the other because the pole is rigid. There's no torque. And th that's how you can make a simple experiment out of different wires, fishing lines, and metal nuts. Thank you.